everyone, this is Yolanda from Lawcraft Channel and today's tutorial is a quick and easy uh, little coffee cup, uh, cozy, a uh, uh, mug, coffee mug cozy. Jeez, I can't even talk. It's just a little, um, I use this uh, dark color and then the white. Uh, you could do it the other way if you want. Yours is going to be a little bit different, could be different because your mug would be a different size. I'll show you how to do that. Anyway, it's just a fun little project for Valentine's Day and it can make a great little teacher gift. I hope you'll enjoy the tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. And let's get the party started. Okay, to begin, I'm going to be using, let me see if I can show you here, um, uh, eye hook, which is a number nine, it's five and a half millimeters. I'm using this luscious little color here, acrylic yarn, and you just get your mug, a mug, whichever mug you're going to be using. I love this mug because my husband got it to me. Um, it's one of the little shoebox readings from Hallmark, but I've had this a long time. It says, kids are nature's way of saying your house is way too neat. Because he used to teach me about when the kids are young. I wanted my house to stay neat, but that doesn't always work when you have kids. So here, what I'm going to do is that you're going to get your mug here, and you're just going to start doing some chains until the height you know that you want to do it you don't want to do it all the way to the lips up here because that's going to touch your mouth and um so about maybe the two-third like in the middle part here so you just get your yarn i'm going to get the dark color and here and this one's called cranberry i think that's what it is okay so i'm just going to start doing one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can feel like maybe there's oh no, it's just a strand. I thought there was a piece of my hair in there or something. Eleven and twelve, okay? And you can measure it so because I think twelve would be good. Yeah, because I'm gonna start here on the fourth. One, two, three, let me see. I think I'm gonna do one more, thirteen. So you're gonna measure your piece. Okay, then once you do that, I'm going to go ahead and do a double crochet on the fourth stitch from the hook. Now remember this little loop here doesn't count as a stitch. So here's one, two, three, here's the fourth stitch. I'm going to begin doing a double crochet in each one of those stitches. I want to yarn over, go into that fourth stitch there. You'll have three loops of yarn on your hook, pull through the first two, then the next two. I'm going to do that again in every stitch. Cross, okay? And this is a really fast project. It's great for um, like teacher gifts. You can go to um, like Walmart or um, Target. You could go to even the dollar store. Sometimes they have mugs for sale there that are not bad. And then you could dress up the mug with this little cover and then you could give it Maybe some candies and as a gift or just a mug with the cover would be enough, I think, for something like a little gift if you wanted to do. So here, and now go to the last stitch here, okay? If you want to do the single crochet, you can. It's up to you. I just try to cover it like this. So see, that's about the right size because I want it to be further down. I don't want it to be way up. And I might have even been able to make it smaller. It's up to you. Whichever way you like. So here to go up, I'm going to chain three. One, two, three. I'm going to turn my work over. And then on the next stitch here, I'm going to begin doing rows of double crochet until I have enough to go from this. Like say here. I want to, I want to have a little space here. Maybe from here to about here just wrapping it up because it's going to be different for every cup because you can make them shorter or smaller depending on which cup you want so here i'm going to continue doing rows here of the same double crochet if you want them smaller or taller you can do that and like i said that's why you could do a single crochet or half double this one i'm just it's just strictly decorative it's not going to keep the cup um warm or cool if you were doing something that you wanted to actually keep your beverage warm i would probably do with a single crochet that way it's closed off and there's not you know it keeps it a little bit warmer so i'm going to keep doing my rounds my excuse me my rounds my rows this way 
until I go all the way around and I don't know how many that will be. Uh, let me check here and I'll show you. So here what you're going to do when you come to the end of the row, your last stitch is going to be into that third chain because the first three count as the first uh, double crochet. Here's one, two, three. If you can't see it that well, you could turn your chain over, your little chain over there and you could see it there. That's going to be the last stitch of every row. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Just you're going to continue one, two, three. Turn your work over. Start your first stitch in the next stitch here. Not in the same one, but in your next stitch. I'm going to continue making rows and I'll come back here. I'm going to put it on the screen how many rows I did. It's going to be different for each one of you depending on the size of your cup. And you could even do this with the bigger um, top cups. Just make them as uh, start with your chain, starting chain, as tall as you need it to be. Okay, I worked a few rows. I think, let me see how many it is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 rows. Yours would be different depending, might be different depending on the size of your little mug. So here what I just did is I just made it long enough so it's not all the way across because I'm going to have that handle there, but just something like that. I'm sorry the light is kind of coming in at a weird angle today. This might help. So just like this, okay, and then I'm just going to do my handle like a little strap to put a button in between the handle here, okay. So what I'm going to do here is just, I believe I have 11 stitches here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I'm just going to go up to go and finish this off. I'm just going to make a few slip stitches. Let me see if I could get that. Sorry guys, the light is really bad in here. Or at least to me it is. I can. I can see the... It's starting to get like shadows. So let me see. Maybe if I put a different lamp. Oh, it's not really helping. So anyway, here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to slip stitch over three. One. Two. Just to get me up three. And I think that should be enough. Let me check. One, two. Hmm. Three, maybe one more. So you're just gonna put your mug in there and just see how the. And now I'm gonna go here. Once I I went over four, you might need to do more or less. So here's one, two, three, and then I'm gonna do about three stitches. So including this one, two, three. Here, just for that little strap, and you could put your mug. Oops. My dog hears someone outside. One, two, three. Yeah, that's about right. Three little straps. You could do it more if you want. I'm going to see one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then here I'm going to go ahead and chain three. One, two, three. Go up. And it should be just, this should be the last row, I think. Because I don't want it too loose because I want to be able to put in that little buttonhole. So let me just try it. Just put on my little mug here, and you will use your mug, whichever size it is. Yep, and that's pretty good right there, because I'm going to have a little button. It's going to stretch a little bit to make it nice and tight, cozy there. So I'm going to go ahead and fasten off, and then I'm going to make my heart. I'm going to make a white heart, and I will go ahead. There's also another tutorial just for the hearts. So here... I'm just gonna, they're ready. I just need to tie in these, weave in these tails, and then we'll come back and do the heart. Okay, I've sewn in all my tails. Now I'm gonna use the white yarn to do the heart. You could do it, like I said, uh, the opposite. Uh, and I had another brand, but this one is softer. So here, I'm going to go ahead and move up to a bigger hook. This is a size J, which is a 10 at 6 millimeter. To do the heart, you can just do two hearts or one heart. It's totally up to you. I'm going to go ahead and start with the magic loop here. And then, see, it's this way. So if you look at it, it's up here in front. This is going to the front. Then I grab it to the back. And then here, I'm going to go ahead and fasten that off to close it off. Ok, 
Okay, so now if the, the circle starts getting too big, you could close it a little bit, but don't close all the way. So here to begin the heart, I'm going to chain two, one, two, and then usually to do a treble, you would go up three or four stitches, but since I wanted to have a point here, I'm going to just do two, and then I'm going to yarn over one, two times, okay? I'm going to go into the circle and come up. Now there's going to be one, two, three, four loops on your hook. You're going to pull through the first two. There'll be three loops. Pull through the next two. Oops, kind of got caught there. And then the last two. Just like that. Uh-oh, hang on a second. There's something that went wrong here. Let me try that again. <laughs> okay, so let me start again. So here you're going to begin with a magic circle or magic loop. There was that little piece of yarn kind of was splitting. Don't know why. So here you're going to go up with two chains. One and two. Now here for the next one I'm going to do um, three treble crochets. To do that usually you go up three or four stitches but here I'm going to go yarn over once and twice. I'm going to go into that circle, come up. I have four loops of yarn on my hook. One, two, three, four. I'm going to pull through the first two. Now I have three loops left. Move this here. Pull through the next two. And then the last two. So that will create our treble. I'm going to do that two more times. So because I want three trebles there. So let's go through the first two, the next two, and then the last two. Don't know why I'm having trouble here. Yarn over. I haven't had my coffee yet. <laughs> so I'm going to go through the first two the next two, and the last three, okay? So that makes my three. And now here, I'm going to um, do three, follow this by three double crochets. I'm going to yarn over once, go in here and do one, two, remember? Yarn over for a double, go up. There's three on there for the first two, then the next two. And then this is going to be my last double crochet. One, two. Okay, now here. Okay, three. I'm going to chain one. Okay, one little chain. And then I do a treble crochet yarn over. One, two, go in here. Four loops. You pull through the first two, the next two. I don't know why the yarn is splitting. And then the last two. I hate when that happens. Chain one. Now we're going to go do the opposite, three double crochets, so you yarn over once. One, two, the circle's getting kind of big, so let me pull it a little bit close there. Yarn over again, do two more double crochets. This is my last double crochet. One, two. Okay, so now I have three double crochets. Now I'm going to th do three trebles, yarn over one, two. We'll have four loops. Pull through the first two, you'll have three loops, pull through the next two, and then your last two. Get some more yarn here. Do that two more times. One, two, three. There you go. Yarn over again. Two times. Two. Go to the next two and the last two. Now here I'm going to chain two. One, two. And now I'm just going to slip stitch into that circle, meaning I just go in there without yarning over. I'm going to pull that shut, okay? And now you can pull the circle shut. It's going to shape your little heart. And here I'm going to cut this off. I'm leaving a little tail just so I could kind of make sure everything's okay there. Oops. Not sure. Okay, yep, that was the right one. I was like, am I grabbing the right one? So then now when this is done, I can sew these. I could trim the little tails. You know, it's hard to see because it's um, the background was white. So then here, you could sew them. This is where the button goes. So I like to sew it on the other side. You could open it all up. And then you could put it here in the middle so it's spaced. You could put more than one. You could do one, two, three. Make as many as you want. Here I'm going to put this tail in and then I'm just going to sew it on. I'm going to trim those tails because they're too long. 
then I'm going to sew it on my little mug cozy. Okay, I'm going to be sewing two hearts on mine. I'm going to do one there and then one here, okay? as you can see both of my little hearts are on here now so now all you need to do is I just fold this over and to see where my buttons gonna go and then you just put in the button I have this little heart button but you could whichever one you want it will fit through there see it'll go through the strap or you could put it this way and have it go whichever way you want I'm just gonna go ahead <coughs> and sew it here and then my little coffee uh, uh, cozy will be done my coffee mug cozy I hope you guys like this tutorial. I'm so sorry about the light. It's really kind of overcast and I just couldn't seem to get a good little light for you here. So it's all done. I just put it on, on button my little strap here and now it's all ready to 
be used. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that like button. Um, help me grow my channel by sharing my videos with your friends and family. Have a great day. And remember always that God loves you.